Okay, this is a continuation of the Dr. Stifler electrolysis uh, experiment with the SEC unit. And um, I have added uh, three other diodes, so there's now four diodes like what he is showing at his website. And uh, I am running this uh, still on 12 volts. And I'm using a SEC 15-3 uh, with an L3 coil that I, I wound up for this. Now this is not correct. Uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm a hobbyist and I'm working on my kitchen table. But I, I am getting some effects and uh, maybe it's helpful to the real researchers that have the laboratory conditions to do this correctly. I did hook this up to my s little scope here and uh, my frequency spike is at 8.33 megahertz. Now, Dr. Stifler said this should be down there around 6.5 to 6.8 megahertz. So obviously, I'm not hitting the right frequency. It's a pretty nice sine wave, though. And uh, anyway, I probably because uh, my setup is not correct, but I am getting electrolysis. Let me show you with the magnifier here. Uh, you can see the bubbles that are forming on the uh, diode. This should help a little bit so you can see that. And uh, it is happening. I am getting an electrolysis effect on the diodes. And um, it is a, a very interesting phenomena. The other thing that uh, is interesting is I still have the, uh, the uh, SEC exciter phenomena with the uh, LEDs. And uh, it's... Uh, still obviously going on while this is happening. And like I say, my frequency that I got my SEC-15 running at is uh, 8.33 megahertz. That's the spike on it right there where it goes into resonance. And it won't do it at any other resonance. I, won't, I can't get any other effect um, on this particular SEC unit at any other frequency but that frequency. But you can see from this that the bubbles are forming on one end of the diode and they're not forming on the other end. I'm producing one gas out of this, or I'm producing both gases at the same time at the top of that diode. I don't know what it is. Um, I haven't tried to burn it or anything, but uh, uh, it's rather interesting that that would be happening like that, that you'd be producing... Uh, a bubble, not two bubbles, a bubble off the end of that diode. And you could add as many diodes as you wanted to in there and it just did all produce. Uh, same amp draw, it's uh, on mine it looks to me like about 150 milliamps is what I'm producing this out of a little 12 volt battery. And uh, the MPS A06 transistor is holding up just fine. It gets warm but it's okay. And uh, this uh, SEC effect is, is uh, just like any other thing. I mean, it happens all over. And uh, it doesn't affect the electrolysis thing at all. So that's another plus out of this system. Anyway, maybe this will help somebody um, that has the laboratory, has the expertise to really duplicate Dr. Stifler's setup. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps, Doctor.